On March 23, 2021, a 1,300 foot ship called the Ever Given became stuck in the Suez Canal. Here we've compiled some of the most compelling and not so compelling suggestions for dislodging the Ever Given. Perhaps some of these will come in handy the next time this happens. James Wegman helpfully shared his four year old's plan for freeing the container ship. They need a lot of bears with rope, he said, adding that it might also be helpful to try to train a whale to get that boat. <laughs> Dr. Parikh Patel suggests we should use a rope to connect a boat to each end of the container ship. Then we should drive the little boats in opposite directions to pull the ends of the Ever Given free. Unfortunately, he didn't offer any guidance on how two tiny boats could budge such a massive ship. But maybe the bears and whales could help? I would simply try turning the steering wheel to move the boat. But that's just me, Maya Kossoff helpfully tweeted. Other Twitter users suggested making a wave machine or waiting for an enormous tsunami to come along and push the ship free. That would also destroy the cities on the bank of the canal but it would solve the ship problem. Along these same lines, Dr. Dan Waterfield suggested building a ginormous airship to lift the Ever Given out of the canal, or flooding all of Egypt to get rid of the canal altogether. No canal, no problem. Ken Sharo said that using a gigantic Q-tip might work, while Andrew Keenan suggested blowing up the ship and then removing it piece by piece. As he noted, as long as the explosive is really, really powerful, the remaining wreckage is simple enough to clear. Tom Hamilton offered up this nifty little solution. Grade it and take the filings away in trucks. Personally, we think this is a great idea. Meanwhile, Mercedes seemed pretty confident that their F1 car would be able to free ships stuck in the Suez Canal. Don't worry, we've got this, they said. If only the solution was that easy. Of course, the real solutions tend to be pretty mundane compared to some of these ideas. Teams managed to dislodge the massive Ever Given by removing the sand and mud underneath it. Tugboats worked at high tide to push and pull the ship free. Preparations were made for specialist cranes to remove some of the containers piled 200 feet high on the ship's deck. Next time, the solution will likely be the same. However, traffic jams on the Suez cost nearly $10 billion in trade each day. So if you have a better idea for what to do the next time a giant ship becomes lodged in a canal, be sure to send it along.